Welcome to week five of Higher Monday Night Hockey. I'm Simon Mason and on tonight's show we have extended highlights from Buckingham against Loughborough students, the best of the action as Hampstead and Westminster hosted East Grinstead, Surbiton out to Bowden and Clifton Robinsons against Beeston. In the men's Premier Division we've got all the action from Beeston at home to Old Georgians, East Grinstead's match at home to Reading. First up we go to Buckingham for the visit of Loughborough students. The home side went into this match still unbeaten, having won both their home games so far. For Loughborough, they've had a promising start to the season and will be keen to continue that here. Penalty corner will be injected by Porter. Thomas will strike and it's taken deflection off James, I think it is. And six minutes in, Buckingham have the lead. A well-worked penalty corner routine. Grieve the defender, couldn't stop the deflection. And Pritchard was stranded on the ground as it looped over into the net. Great start by the hosts. Buckingham won. Loughborough nil. Here is Millington. Millington up against Nicholson. Good work from Millington. Still going. Here comes Nolte across to make the challenge. And the shot coming in from Millington and the save by Jackson. And, well, almost a breakthrough for Loughborough. Great work from Millington. Shot comes in. Good save from Jackson. And Byrne is there for Loughborough trying to pick up the rebound but the keeper just takes everybody out. Injection from Leite. The strike again will come from Thomas. It's taken a big deflection in there and across the face of goal and in by Leite. And it's 2-0. 16 minutes in. Buckingham double their advantage. Leite with the injection. Thomas with the strike. It takes a deflection off the number one runner, I think. Loops nice, nicely to O'Neill, who plays it across the face of goal. And Leite pops it in via the post. Petter down that left-hand side. Beautiful work from Izzy Petter. Still going, Izzy Petter. She's taken three of them out, but she can't beat the fourth. Who is Frankie Scott on the line? Petter, beautiful skill. Almost finds the breakthrough. Scott denies her, though, with some brilliant last-ditch defending. Campbell. Down this right-hand side. Campbell under pressure. Can she find the cross? Yes, she can. And there is Millington stealing in front of the keeper and the defender. She gets the touch. And Loughborough with 11 minutes to go are right back in this one. Millington with the touch. In fact, I think it comes off Higgins' leg and into the back of the net. It's Millington's goal. And Loughborough, well, they might be able to rescue this one. Now to this right-hand side. This is Scott. Scott into James. James turns from Millington. Can she find the ball into the circle? She can. Nolte. Nolte! Oh, what a left-right combination that is from Nolte to restore the two-goal lead. The ball coming in from James and Nolte's first touch, the reverse stick touch, takes it away from the keeper and the second one puts it in the back of the net. It's 3-1 to Buckingham. Cusack with the penalty corner in what is the last play of the game. Grieve with a shot. Jackson with the save. And it is another win for Buckingham as the final whistle sounds. Three wins from five outings now for the home side. Final score here at Stowe. Buckingham three. Loughborough University one. Hampstead and Westminster have had a flying start to the season, having won all four of their opening matches, scoring 15 goals in the process. They were up against the East Grinstead side, still looking for their first win of the season. So, East Grinstead on the front foot early on. A chance here down this right flank. If they can get the ball across, they do. It's, you know, it's come up off Rare. Hampstead and Westminster stopped playing for a second, and Rare doesn't, and Rare finds the back of the net. Three minutes in, East Grinstead are 1-0 up. What a start by the visitors. Penalty corner. A couple of castles. The nearest one as we look. And the slap wide of the mark. Penalty corner. Goes to the right hand side. Mirani with the flick in. And Sophie Bray gets the touch to put East Grinstead 2 0 up. 16 minutes in. What a start by the visitors who have yet to win this season. Sophie Bray making it 2 0 to East Grinstead. Fire. First quarter, and Lindsay will have a chance here for East Grinstead down this right hand side. There with the ball across, takes a deflection. Unsworth scores! What a start, unbelievable! Laura Unsworth makes it Hampstead and Westminster nil, East Grinstead three. 
And here comes Austin Westminster. This is Owsley. Owsley one on one with the goalkeeper, and Owsley scores. What a start to the second quarter by the home side. They needed it. Hampson Westminster 1, EG 3. In the corner. Here it comes. The drag flick. Well saved by the keeper. Long corner. And this is Wilkinson down the right channel. He screens it back off. Wilkinson gets the shot. Straight back to her. Wilkinson. Good save. But that was a real chance for the home side. What a chance that was to get back to within a goal. Westminster down this left hand channel. Opportunity hats for them to find the back of the net. It's rebounded kindly to Lee who scores. Joey Lee makes it Hampstead and Westminster 2, EG 3. And this is a really tasty game now. Now, Hampstead Westminster on the break down this right hand side. If they can find the passes, they could be in here. This is Owsley. Uh, out to the left hand side, shot comes in and Asley scores! She gets the tip, 48 minutes gone, Hampstead and Westminster are back on level terms, 3 all. Oh, the corner goes to the right hand side, Bias with the shot, Russell goes for height, did he get away with that one? And it comes, and off the post, and it's in by Unsworth! Oh, this game just keeps on giving. 54 minutes in, he squints it back in front. Four goals to three. Ball comes across. It's there for the taking if he squints it, can get it strong. And shift it. There's the first chance. There's a the second chance. Oh, and the Hampson and Westminster somehow get it clear. Penalty corner. Two castles. Goes to Bias. Bias it gets a deflection and it's in the back of the net. And it's level once again. Well, is that to be a winner here? Hunt driving at the center of the EG defense. Hunt into the circle. Hunt, oh, she gets the ball back. A chance here for Hunt. And she's put it wide. Oh, what an opportunity that was for Hampstead and Westminster to complete the most unlikely of comebacks. Final score though at the wreck. Hampstead Westminster four. East Grinstead four. Surbiton were the only other side with a 100% record and they hosted a Bowden side with five points so far. They would be keen to bounce back after their first loss of the season last time out. Turning it round the back, here is Hansley. He gets her head up, plays it to the head of the circle. Defront, Defront gets the shot away and there's the deflection by Sanders. And Erica Sanders, seven minutes in, gets her first goal of the season. Penalty corner, two castles. Goes to Ansley. Ansley with the flick and it's well saved. Long corner. Penalty stroke. Ansley up against Mackay. Who's going to come out on top of this? And the answer is Giselle Ansley. Her second goal of the season. 20 minutes in. Serbian 2, Bowden 0. Penalty corner. Ansley up and over the top. Final score here. Serbian 2, Bowden 0. Two sides down in the bottom of the table met at Clifton Robinson's with Beast and the visitors. The Bees went into this one without a point in the season, whilst the home side were only just above them with one win so far. Here comes Beeson on the front foot. Ball into the circle. It's gone in, but I think it's gone in off Hopkinson like and not an attacker. So it's going to be a 16. Chance here for Clifton Robinson's down this right hand side. And here is Mark Jones. Mark Jones on the reverse stick. Oh, what a way to get your first goal of the season. Natasha, Mark Jones. Makes it 1-0. Penalty corner goes to that left-hand castle. It's broken down, but Clifton Robinson are going to have to be aware here. Opportunity, shot comes in, and it's Gillett who has leveled things up. Clifton Robinson's one, Beeston one. Short corner. Penalty corner goes to the left-hand castle. Here comes the strike, and the deflection is up and in, and it's Paige Gillett again. 68 minutes into the piece. She might well have won it for the visitors. Excellent goal. From Beeston, well worked penalty corner routine. The final fixture saw the University of Birmingham defeat Holcomb by three goals to one. Rafaela Brandau Lee put the home side ahead early on before Coca Hall doubled the lead soon after. Candice Manuel's third of the season pulled one back for Holcomb just before half time. 
There were no further goals until the final minute of the match when a Lauren Hunt penalty stroke sealed the win for the home side. So Surbiton now have the outright lead just ahead of Hampstead and Westminster, with Buckingham now slightly pulling away from the chasing pack. East Grinstead slipped to the bottom as Beeston's win lifts them up one place. In the men's Premier Division, we'll join up with BTV for Beeston's home match against Old Georgians. The visitors were sitting top of the table, still unbeaten, whilst for Beeston they needed to kickstart their campaign that has just one win so far. Indeed, it's uh, looking good. If you're watching us in black and white, it's Old Georgians in the light shirts, and they are the team getting us underway. Instantly, it's out to the left side. Matt Richards getting an early touch. Eight minutes on the board. That's blocked by Hojwan. Ball still live in the circle. Awful lot of bodies in front of him, and that's just somehow not gone in the goal. That hit a foot as well. It's going to be a beast and ball. How I'm did surprised that, stay that out? stayed out in actual fact. It was a good save, easy height for Simon Hoodran's first save, but then um, obviously seeing it fly across the goal mouth like that, so I'm surprised it didn't go in. Umpire reminding the uh, beast and midfielder about five metres. That's why it took a little bit longer to restart there. There's a there's a muscularity to the forward line of uh, old George. Yes, yeah, there is. The, the, the beast have got to match. Into the circle, of space. and that's and that's the first goal of the game. Nice turn and shot from Old Georgians. Well, that's exactly the point, really. There was a couple of opportunities there where Beeston could have controlled that, and it's, he's had too much space. Another team. Stops, uh, can't stop old Georgians from scoring. Yeah, that's right. It's uh, they are, they've got a lot of players capable of Instant scoring. Instant response from Beeston here. That's flashed across goal. Off the kick. Would that be a, a sign for the to get two players on the attack, uh, two defenders on the attacker? Yeah, they, they want to close down whoever's on the ball quickly. Has one uh, with the feet. And it's a free hit for Beeston, taken quickly. They've taken a leak out of the old Georgian book, and that's. <laughs> Put in, what a finish, well, what a finish. Lucas Ward, I think that was unusual because I think the for the first time so far, old Georgians caught napping a bit there really. He was able to run into the edge of the day and it wasn't particularly. Again, even though they're a player down, they seem to look like there's more of them. That's a decent ball. ball out to the right side. Is this a shooting opportunity? It slid past the post and wide. Probably Gleeson. Here we go on a good break here. There's a lot of space here. This is Stuart quite... Stuart Cantwell, decent ball across the face. Can this be picked off? Goalkeeper good defense. kicks it out. Andy ball towards the left. It's been flashed in and uh, smashed into the goal from short range. That is a great follow-up. That ball was overhead height. And he's managed to get his reverse stick on that and just put it into the net as it's come off the keeper. So, great reaction. Quite happy OGs to feed that ball into the D just on the hope that somebody would get on the end. Oh, that was an opportunity. Time. Yep, first time on that left side. Yeah. And, and that's why, because yep. that's what Turn Old Georgians were waiting for. Nice take just outside the circle, and that's been played in front of the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper Hushwan comes out and slides and plays the ball out of danger. So nice. right now, and that's a nice Probably step in. stepping in well there. A little bit more precision needed, but we've got a beast have got away with that. Holtman's to making his way towards the baseline. Flashed in front of the goal, and that's in. Take a, didn't take yeah. a touch, but it was a good effort. Robbie's been holding that defence. It's quite tight, so... Could this be number three? Good stop. That one's fired towards the goal as well. And that one is out of play. In. It's out and trapped. And it's a little reverse ball in. And then flapped away. High drama. Yeah, good redirection by uh, the runners to stop that slip. Flip. Played in towards goal, down on the line, and then batted away. Nice 
nice 3D skills. Getting closer and closer to the circle. That's a that's foot, a, surely. That's a corner. That's just what they need at this phase of the game. Rapid counter-attack. Good skills to get out of the tight area on the right-hand side from Jonas Holtman's there. Unfortunately, it's found a foot, so this is that sort of last chance that I think Reese will find to get that equaliser. Yeah, that nice little pick-up there. Very nice played out and then the defensive ball out hitting his own defender ready it's out it is quickly played towards the goal it's bounced out East Grinstead hosted Reading with both sides having struggled with their starts of the season EG had gained one win so far but the visitors went into this one with just one point to their name and come Reading down this side ball across the circle here is Newball Newball with the shots go wide of Smith's goal an opportunity for Reading now, Miss Grimstead, cross comes in, and the deflection, no, not there, straight across the face of Chris Wyvern's goal. Now, they've been trying to play their way out of defence, and they could be in trouble here, because here's an opportunity for East Grimstead on the reverse stick. That sounded like a, a heavy challenge, and it's a penalty stroke. Reading protest, but it sounded pretty agricultural. Faulkner against Wyvern. Wyver guesses right, but can't get his hands on the ball. And Simon Faulkner gives the host a lead. Ball across the face, the goal, and the touch by Oxford. The lead for East Grinstead lasts five minutes. 37 minutes in, EG1, Reading 1. Reading trying to play themselves out of trouble here, and they've given possession back. And here is Nolte. Nolte! Oh, what a finish from Joe Nolte! Chips the advancing Chris Wyver and gives East Grinstead the lead once more. A fine finish, EG2, Reading 1. Oh, a chance here perhaps for Reading. They've got the overload down this right-hand side. Now Batchuk is in the circle unmarked. Here is Batchuk. Can he beat Smith on the reverse stick? And Emmett off the line. What a piece of defence from Emmett. Penalty corner. Falls to Lockrick, Lockrick straight at Smith, and the clearance is made. Ellison taking on the penalty corner, Smith makes a save, Lockrick just a bit too physical with his challenge, free out for EG. Redding searching for this equaliser, here's another opportunity, good stick behind for the long corner. Penalty corner, and it comes, Wyver makes a save. Final score here, East Grins did two, Redding one. The University of Exeter suffered another heavy defeat, this time at home to Surbiton. The visitors held a 3-1 lead at half-time thanks to goals from Zach Wallace and two for Joshua Redstone. Max Lowry scoring for Exeter. There's no guys. Come on, come on. Give it all goal. Give it all goal. Hey! Let's go, guys. It's a break. It's a break.
Amsterdam Westminster returned from EHL action to face Brooklyn's Manchester University at home. Richard Smith got the home side ahead just before the half-time break, before David Flanagan equalised in the second half. And with four minutes remaining, Matt Guys brown got his sixth of the season to give Amsterdam Westminster all three points. Holcomb and Wimbledon played out an entertaining 3 all draw. Barry Middleton got the home side off to a perfect start scoring in the third minute, but goals from Ben Francis, Ed Haller and Ben Arnold put Wimbledon comfortably ahead at the half-time break. Two goals early in the second half from Middleton again and Nick Banderak meant that the points were shared. So all Georgians managed to keep hold of their lead at the top of the table, just ahead of a rampant Surbiton. At the bottom, Reading still have just the one point and there are three sides just ahead of them with three points apiece. That's all for tonight's show. Join us again next week for another Higher Monday Night Hockey.